Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques to make your Excel Dashboard shine. All right, today I'm going to show you a very simple trick, but uh, it was unknown to me for a long time, and it has to do with pie charts. So let's take a look at this pie chart here. What we have is we have uh, the labels outside of the pie chart, and we have this, and it's called a leader line. These leader lines are created pretty quick and easy. I'll just show you how to do that here in a second, but you can see they show you which label or percentage goes to which pie slice. Uh, this is especially helpful when you have some of these smaller slices like this other one, and you've got a long label or percentage, uh, and they just don't fit very well together. What you can do is uh, move those out to a better position, create a leader line so that it points to the slice that represents, and your executives can see the dashboard in better detail. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, so we have our data set up here, and we've got the labels and the percentages. To create the pie chart, you first want to highlight your labels and data range, then go up to your insert ribbon. From your insert ribbon, you have this pie chart button. And under pie chart, you can pick any one you want. In this case, we're going to pick this 2D pie chart. Let's move this over to where you can see it a little better. And uh, Excel normally puts in a legend right here. Uh, if you don't like that, you can just click on it and hit delete, which is what we did for our pie chart. Then, when you've selected the pie chart anywhere in there, go up to your layout ribbon. From your layout ribbon, you want to go to the data labels button in the labels group. And we want to do an outside end. You can do it with any of these, but uh, it's easiest just to do this with outside end as our data label. Click on that. Now, I'm going to click on one of these data labels. You'll notice that it highlights every single one of them. And I'm going to press control key, control one or I can right click on it and choose format data labels. So when you format your data labels we can add the category name uh, and I typically like to change the separator to a new line. Alright, let's go ahead and click on close and take a look at what that looks like. It looks very similar to the chart I showed you a minute ago. However, you see there's no leader lines. Let's click on those labels again and hit control 1 or right click on it, press format data labels. You will see here there is a checkbox that says show leader lines in the label options. Forgot to show you that when I had it open before. So you want to make sure that is checked. Should be checked since we chose an outside label. But they're not showing. So how do I get those leader lines to show? Well, here's the real simple trick. First select your data labels, then reselect it with your left mouse click. Sudden stock slide is now selected, and you see when I move my cursor kind of to the outside it turns into uh, those crosshairs. I'm going to click and drag and when I drop it, look at that, it's created the leader line. Once I've selected one I can just start grabbing the others because Excel knows I'm grabbing single ones. I'm clicking on it, dragging, dropping, just click on it, drag and drop. And remember the first time to select it, you see when I click on it, it selects every data label. So to select just one data label, click on it, then click on it again. Then you'll have to move out just to the outside edge to get those crosshairs. When you do that, you drag and drop it, and you will see the leader lines. So once again, I've clicked on it, clicked on it again, drag it out, drop it, and that leader line shows up. So real cool technique. I'm going to show you how to really make this technique shine tomorrow when we replicate a USA Today pie chart where we've got this percentage here showing up on the inside of the pie chart and we've got the label like our legend showing up with the leader lines on the outside of the pie chart. So uh, show up tomorrow and watch the video so you can see how to do that really cool technique tomorrow. Thank you and I hope you have a great day. Please make sure you sign up for my YouTube channel. Also don't forget to visit my blog so you can see all my wonderful posts that will help your Excel dashboards really stand out. Thank you.